on this episode, we're taking the Ranger to the track. We're going to hit the quarter mile and see what this thing will do. So I'm heading over to my local track, which is uh, Brainerd International Raceway, uh, or BIR for short. And uh, they got uh, basically uh, Wednesday night drags going on, uh, test local test and tune kind of thing. Uh, so mainly just street cars and stuff. So we're going to uh, basically pay a few dollars, get in, get in as many runs as we want, and see what this thing does. So um, not ex don't have my expectations too high. Maybe a mid-12 or something like that. If we could hit 11, I'd be tickled. So we'll see what it does. Alright guys, not bad. Uh, first run, I was in the right lane. 1286 at 107. Uh, I think I'd do better than that, leaving off the line and stuff. But we'll check it over here. Give it a good quick check over, make sure everything's okay. That's our first run and we'll be good. Yeah, first run and we already got uh, rubber all over. Oops. I think she's running okay. Gonna cool down a little bit, make another run. All right, gonna try this again. I think I'm gonna try leaving second gear and manually select it as I go down uh, rather than letting it do it itself. So we'll see what happens.
was any better. I don't think it was. That, that launch was pretty shitty. Thank you. That was worse. 1308, 107, so miles per hour was there. The guy next to me beat my 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 time, but I got him in miles per hour and beat him at the end, so I don't know if he's geared so high or what, but but about where I figured, 12.5. 13 something like that we'll let's sit for a little bit try it again one more pass I think Let's see what that one did. Uh, kind of slipped off the line. I think it launched pretty good. It stuck off, but I don't think the time was any better than a 12 8. Thank you. Yep, 
Yep, we got a 13.1 at a 106, so it got worse. That's the worst time slip. That's pretty typical for my cars, it seems like. The first run is always the best one. All right, guys, all done at the track. I'm on my way home. Uh, I got three runs in. Uh, I didn't think they went too bad. Uh, I'm sure if I could have launched a lot better or tried to launch with a higher RPM, I uh, could have got a better time. I think this thing is capable of a high 11, um, but uh, I kind of figured it would be mid-12s or so. I uh, had a 12.8, which was my first run, then like a 13.01 or something, or 13.08. My second run, and then a 13.12, I think, uh, the last run. So I didn't think they went too bad. Uh, you know, trying to play around with shifting it manually or just letting it do it automatically. Um, you know, just playing around. I'm sure I could get better times that way. But uh, the... Uh, I did try loading the, the torque converter a little bit just to get the RPMs up there on launch. Uh, that seemed to help, but yeah, just getting that traction off the line is always important, you know. So, but all in all, it held together. I uh, didn't notice any problems, any leaks. So, uh, she seems to be pretty durable. So, like I said, on my way home and uh, we'll call it a day. So, thanks for watching again, guys. We'll see you later.